Done. Well, the Whitman County Prosecutor's Office is charging 15 people in the 2019 death of Sam Martinez. The people being charged were members of the fraternity at Washington State University at the time of the freshman's death. The announcement comes months after the Pullman Police Department finished its investigation into Martinez's death. Our Ian Smay spoke with Martinez's parents earlier tonight about the charges. Whitman County Prosecutor Dennis Tracy announced that he will be pressing charges of furnishing liquor to a minor to 15 people in relation to the death of Sam Martinez. This is the next step towards criminal penalties for those who may have been responsible for Martinez's death. But for his parents, it doesn't necessarily mean justice is being served. It is not justice for us. We live every day with the loss of our Sam and it's just unbearable. Um, these charges are very minor charges against these 15 people. And uh, none of it can bring Sam back. Prosecutor Dennis Tracy decided to press charges against 15 people in the 2019 death of WSU freshman Sam Martinez. He was found dead of alcohol poisoning after an Alpha Tau Omega fraternity event. This is double the amount of people that charges were recommended against by the Pullman Police Department. Hazing charges weren't pressed after the statute of limitations ran out during the police department's investigation. A disappointment for Martinez's family. Those would have been much more meaningful to us and much more equivalent to what the circumstances actually were that happened that night. Pullman Police Chief Gary Jenkins told us earlier this year that the investigation took more than the one year statute of limitations for hazing for two main reasons. Multiple interview subjects having left Pullman due to breaks from school and problems accessing a cell phone to look for evidence. This has led Martinez's parents to call for changes to be made to Washington's hazing law. Hazing should be, should be uh, considered as a felony and there should be a bigger, bigger consequences on, on these. Furnishing liquor to a minor, the charge the 15 people face, is a gross misdemeanor in Washington. It's punishable by up to a year in jail and a $5,000 fine. Whitman County Prosecutor Dennis Tracy didn't want to talk on camera about the case, but he says he also doesn't feel like it's substantial justice for Martinez or his family, but it's what he can do. He also added that it's the highest number of charges arising from a single drinking event that he can recall since he started as the prosecutor, and that this could serve as a deterrent to binge drinking. A deterrent for actions that Hout says led to an avoidable death. If just one person had stopped or said stop, if one person had called for help when Sam was in trouble, Sam would still be with us right now. And that's really hard for us to live with. We should also note that the family did file a wrongful death lawsuit against the university and the fraternity. They say that has been put on pause due to the criminal case. The fraternity was suspended by its national organization and the university after Martinez's death. In the newsroom, Ian Smay, Creme 2 News.